Hello everyone, Coach Lance here. I wanna to talk to you about a couple um, key hidden benefits to your long run. So whether your long run is 20 minutes or three hours, there's always a point where you get to the end of it and you, you get fatigued and so you start to break down both physically and mentally. Uh, so there's some hidden gems in there for us that we can look for when we're doing our long run and we can get a lot more out of our long run, especially for racing. So on the mental side of it, what happens is when the fatigue sets in, you'll notice that you start, uh, your self-talk becomes far more negative, right? And you start thinking about everything you're doing wrong or you start talking bad about yourself, how you're not a good runner, how you're slow, uh, how you're not this, you're not that person. And the, you know, the mental side of it just takes over and really drives us down. So at the end of every long run, whether it's uh, 10 minutes or the last 30 minutes, there's always this opportunity to work on the mental aspect, particularly because it's gonna help us when we race. Because when we get into those races, you know, that mental aspect is huge. The person who's stronger mentally can push through that discomfort, where those of us, you know, who are, are even more easily defeated when we get to that mental side of it, we just kind of fold up or we start walking when we necessarily don't wanna walk. So let's use the end of our long runs to work on our mental aspect so that we can use in racing. The other aspect is the physical aspect. As we all know, when we get to the end of that long run, you know, we get tired and, and the fatigue really breaks down our form. So in the physical realm, we'll notice that our running stride shortens, our hips will drop, um, we'll load up the knee more, the foot will be on the ground longer, so there's more ground contact time, and consequently that all leads to slower running. Um, a lot of things that we'll see as well is that the hands will drop, which will all, uh, also lead to that lower turnover, so cadence will drop. That'll really affect the pace that we're running, um, so it really slows down. So when we're in the end of our long run, whether it's 10 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, whatever it is for you, that's an opportunity to work on your triathlon running. Think about your triathlon running. What is running at the end of the triathlon other than running tired? So a lot of times our open running form, you know, like our open 10K versus the 10K at the end of Olympic distance or whatever distance, that will be a little bit different than how we run regularly. So when we get to that long run, it's a perfect opportunity to work on our form that we'll use in the triathlon because we come off the bike and we're fatigued as it is. So our natural running state in the triathlon is gonna be a fatigued running state. And so how do you get there? Well, one way is at the end of the long run, it's fantastic because you know we're trying to extend our aerobic base and then there is a point at the end of every long run where you start to get tired. So instead of just you know like um, grudging through that or suffering through that, let's use that as, a, as an opportunity to work on our running form that we can take into triathlon. And the third benefit is just the mental and physical um, connection. You know, a lot of times, if you want to have that better running form, you the physical, you need the mental to remind yourself. So you remind yourself of those cues. Keep your hands up, nice and light here. Be tall, slight lean forward. Keep the cadence up. That will all uh, result in you running a little bit faster and feeling better at the end of a long run or in a triathlon. And then there's also the, the mental physical connection, you know, and just in establishing those goals and those reasons why you keep going um, that can translate into how you run physically. So uh, to recap, three things that you can use at the end of the long run. One is working on the mental aspect and working on your positive self-talk. Two is working on your running form when you're tired, which is how you'll run in a triathlon. So the better we can make that in our long run, the best, better for racing. And then three is just working on that connection between the physical and the mental. Really trying to hone ourselves so that when we get to our race, we develop or we deliver our best performance possible. Thanks a lot, hope that helps.